Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing Stuff. Today I'm going to be unboxing a new lighting kit that I just got by the company Newer, as far as I can find on the internet how to pronounce it anyways. And this will be an upgrade to my current kit which is pretty, pretty rudimentary and totally homebrew. So I'll show you guys that a little bit later before we change out the lighting kit to uh, this new set and then see if it performs a little bit better, which is what I'm hoping for. So let's go ahead and just get this out of the box here. It's a uh, two-piece lighting kit that comes with stands as well. It's LED also. I've been wanting to upgrade my lighting kit for quite a while and uh, finally decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and just do it. So it appears this lighting kit just comes in a soft carrying case. So that's pretty nice if I ever travel or do some shoot somewhere else or if I just want to put it away so that way I can clean up the clutter in my room here so it's not just taking up space. I can put it on a shelf. So it looks like it just unzips here. Okay, I'll tilt this back so you can see it. So we got our two lights, I'm assuming, in these boxes. It looks like multiple pieces. So this particular kit has very noisy plastic, but they, each light has its own separate power brick, uh, which is nice. They also make a version that allows for batteries, but I didn't think that that was something I would really need. So then here is the actual light itself. It's supposed to be a 45 watt uh, LED light so pretty simple and then we just got that one more time right here go ahead and get this guy out maybe if I can figure it out then again we got our power strip and another light Then it looks like we have two of these pouches which house the soft box which these lights go in, which reflects the light, and then we have a piece of fabric that diffuses the light, gives you a little bit more even spread. As far as I understand, I'm not by any means a lighting or photo or video expert, as you can probably tell for most of my videos. So we got that, we got another softbox kit, and then, see we got a little piece of paper here, which has just a little thank you uh, from the CEO of the newer company. And then here we just have to what I'm assuming is the actual stand for the lighting softbox to mount on. Okay. Alright, yeah, and then so we just got uh, a nice stand. It looks like it's got some a little plastic thread protector here. And uh, yeah, so that's everything that was in the box. Let me go ahead and readjust everything here, get some of this, these boxes out of the way, and then let's go ahead and try and get one of these soft boxes set up uh, and we'll discuss some features as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and set up our tripod. And this here just has a 
screw you loose on the leg, and then this slides up, and the legs slide out, and then this can go all the way up for if you need it really tall, or you can have it be a nice wide stable base, or you can have it be nice and low. And so for the purpose of this video showing you how to set it up, we'll do it nice and low. So then we'll take our light here and we'll loosen this so we can rotate the head. We'll just tighten that for now straight. And then inside here, you can go two different ways. Well, I guess really three different ways. I'll show you that here. So you can have the light come on sideways and lock it down there, do the opposite side, or have it stand up, which is how we're gonna set it up with our soft box. And then you can adjust tilt forward and back. And then I'm actually gonna plug this in really quick just so you can see it by itself. You can see the light turn on. And so I'll have it turned all the way down. And so here is the warmer color. And then it gets, there's the brightest. And turn it down. And then we'll turn it to the whiter color. The lowest. And then it gets pretty bright. And it does make some minor noise with it turned all the way up. I assume it's probably because it's cheaper components. Uh, that's why it was an affordable light though. Can't have everything. Unless you're willing to pay for it anyways. Okay, so now the next step is we're gonna go ahead and set up our soft box around the light. And before I do that real quick, just so you know, these uh, do open up so you can also, you know, raise and lower the light, you know, for whatever your needs are. So, so here we have our four metal poles and there's these little holes on the side here where these actually slide in. And so the soft box itself is actually a uh, rectangle. And so we'll just go ahead and slide in this first corner. And then we'll slide in the second corner here. Then we'll do the bottom. piece which is the hardest here but these are all flex once we get them into place here There we go. And then we have some Velcro on the back here. And you just Velcro these into place as tight as you can. They don't have to be perfect. Alright. So as you can see, this thing's pretty big once you get it there. So let's go ahead and plug it in and then you see that the reflection bounces some of the light to give you a little bit more light. Okay, and now the final set or final step for setting up our 
soft box here will be to put on our diffuser panel. And that just slips right on the top. right on the bottom. Okay, and we'll turn the light back on. And that just kind of breaks it up, you can really see there. And provides an awful lot of light, really. I'm pretty impressed. So, the next thing we're gonna do is, we'll go ahead and uh, readjust one more time so that you can see the back of the light and we'll show you this how the switches work and the knobs and then what color light comes out when we do the switches. Okay now I got it set up back here behind and so if you see here the bottom is 2700k and the top is the 5500k and so if we switch to the bottom we get our yellow light and then we have our knob here where we can slowly increase the brightness and then we flip up to the 5500k and then we have our knob which also will increase the brightness here and then just has a single 24 volt power supply on this and it's a 45 watt model Okay, so here's one last look at my original lighting setup with uh, just showing you how it actually looks in the scene here. And we're going to go ahead and cut over to the new stuff. And then after we show you the change there, uh, then we'll, I'll show you my old lighting setup and prepare to not be very impressed. So let's go ahead and change out right now. Okay, so here we are. We have the new light setup and as far as my perspective is going, uh, it feels a lot more like a studio. I mean, some serious lighting coming in, uh, which is significantly better than what I used to have. So my original lighting setup was just these work style lights that you can get at you know a home improvement store that can just clip to something. And I would clip it to a tripod or the TV or the desk or whatever. And then I used an old cut up t-shirt with some uh, bobby pins and a hair tie to secure it on there. So that's how I diffused the light originally. And then I also had, so I had the one small one and then I had one big one, but the mount on the big one broke. So I ended up just using this metal clip on the back of it to just set it on a tripod, which stunk a little bit because it stole one of my tripods right off the bat. and. You know, I don't know, wasn't that great because it was hard to get to uh, have the lighting where you actually want it. It wasn't very easy to adjust. But, and this one also didn't have an on and off switch, and the smaller one did. So, I just had these two lights, which really limited how much lighting output I had. So, I had to rely a lot on the room lighting and stuff like that as well. Where these lights, I mean, looking around, you know, it feels like almost daylight in here. Uh, but it's still at the same time not an overpowering light, so I'm I'm really happy with these so far. Okay, so overall I would rate this lighting kit approximately a 7 out of 10. There's a few things that I really liked about it and a few things I didn't. We'll go ahead and list off some of the cons first, and that is just the actual quality of the material doesn't seem that good, so I don't know how durable this is going to be over time, and that seems like definitely a big drawback. The other thing is that when you actually crank up the light output towards the maximum side and from pretty much the middle up you get a buzzing sound which I know is just a uh, side effect of cheaper electronics so that's something else to keep in mind and overall everything just doesn't feel super high quality but that's pretty much to be expected at the hundred dollar or less price point but the good is easy to set up uh, the actual lighting output is great I feel like I'm in a studio right now, which is just blowing me away. It's taking me to a whole new level of how I feel when I'm recording a video. Um, and uh, I think it, the price point is another huge plus for this. I mean, it's just a, a reasonable price to play for, pay for a lighting kit. So I think if you're looking for something in that range, this is probably about as good as you're going to get. And I, I, I'm okay with that. You know, I don't think I made a, a bad purchase getting this lighting kit. So. Uh, 
if this is something that you're considering or looking for, this kit's not a bad way to go. And I'll definitely put a link down in the description to uh, Amazon where I bought the kit. And then down the road when I get an affiliate link, I'll probably go ahead and replace it with that. But I will annotate so you guys will know one way or the other. So I definitely look forward to the future where I go through and try different lighting angles and stuff like that and see how I can continue to improve the video quality and the output that I actually give you guys. So also if there's anything else you'd like to see me improve on, please in the comments throw it down there and I'm always open to some positive criticism to improve my channel. So I think that about does it for this review. Uh, I like the lights so far if I ever change my opinion on them you know for better or for worse I will let you guys know so that way you know you'll be up to the most recent date you know on as far as the performance of this lighting kit so at this point in time I just like to say thank you for watching please subscribe to my YouTube channel you can follow me on Twitter where I post videos and pictures and stuff like that as well and at this point in time I'd like to say thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.